Hello dear student welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will see uh, conjugated dienes and in that we will see free radical addition reaction in the last session we have seen about electrophilic addition reaction in this uh, session we will see free radical addition reaction and there are two kinds of an uh, addition reaction that is 1,4 and 1,2 type of an addition reaction so uh, we will see with an mechanism so like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates. Now next point that is free radical addition reactions of conjugated dynes. In case of an anti Markovnikov rule we have seen but it was only an alkene here it is conjugated dynes. So similar kind of a mechanism we will see in this case also. Conjugated dyne also undergo addition reaction by radical chain mechanism and here the addition product we get that is 1, 2 and 1, 4. Thus radical addition reaction of an hydrogen bromide to 1, 3 butadiene gives 1 bromo 2 butyl. So we will see the general reaction. Now see this 1, 3 butadiene uh, we get 1, 2 addition product again and we get 1, 4 addition product. Now which predominates again it is having some conditions and why it is now a uh, free radical conjugation reaction because this free radical which is formed due to an peroxides so it is also said to be an peroxide effect as we have seen in case of an anti markovnikov rule that peroxide effect it can be seen and it gives 1-2 addition product as well as an 1-4 addition product products are same but which predominates so it depends on the condition and mechanism is also different now let us see the mechanism in case of an mechanism uh, see this one one three butadiene as it is an one three butadiene uh, so here it is having hbr as well as an uh, peroxide and this peroxide as we have seen in case of an uh, Markovnikov anti Markovnikov rule this peroxide they will now firstly they will form radicals and this radical this react to radicals they will combine with it is radical RO and they will uh, combine with HBr This HBr again uh, that will cleave and once it has been cleaved, once it has been cleaved, so now that uh, peroxide radical plus hydrogen they will combine and this Br, this bromine br radical so this br radical it will attack uh, it will attack on the carbon number one and again that carbon number one it will cleave in an homolytic manner okay. and here we will get uh, we will get this product after attachment of a bromine radical so this all the cleavage they are homolytic over here uh, it is like an anti markovnikov rule that all the cleavage they are homolytic and once this bromine it get attached at carbon number one so it will form a free radical at carbon number two because it has been cleaved homolytically so one of the electron from this double bond it will shift towards the carbon number two and the resonating form of this uh, that again this carbon number three and four it will cleave in a such way that it will give one of the electron towards homolytically after cleaving it it will give an electron towards carbon number uh, 2 and 3 so here it will form a double bond and one of the electron it will go on carbon number 4 so here we can see that it is having now a free radical if we see the stability of a free radical so this free radical it is more stable as it is secondary as we have seen in case of an anti markovnikov prune that uh, it has a stability similar similar like of an carbocations and uh, now the this secondary radical see this secondary radical it is more stable and primary radical primary radical it is less stable as hydrogen 
कार्बोनेट इज हैविंग ओनली ओनली द हाइड्रोजन अटैच टू इट टू हाइड्रोजन अटैच टू इट बट यर इट इज एन सेकेंडरी सो दैट इज वाई इट इज एन स्टेबल एंड दिस वर्ड इज प्राइमरी विच इज लेस स्टेबल नाउ रिमेनिंग पार्ट दैट इज एच बी आर अगेन एच बी आर इट विल बी एडेड एच बी आर अगेन इट विल बी क्लूड होमोलाइटिकली सो इन दिस मैनर इट विल क्लू एंड वंस इट इज बीन क्लूड होमोलाइटिकली सो द हाइड्रोजन इट गेट अटैच एट कार्बन नंबर टू यू कैन सी इन द रेड कलर दैट हाइड्रोजन गेट अटैच टू एंड कार्बन नंबर टू एंड इन केस ऑफ लेस स्टेबल रेडिकल एच बी आर अगेन इट विल क्लू होमोलाइटिकली ऑल द बॉन्ड फिशन दे आर होमोलाइटिकली क्लूड इन दिस मैकेजम and hydrogen gate attached to a carbon number 4 which is having uh, which was having two hydrogens earlier and now we get you know, one two addition product and one four addition product why one two addition because bromine it has attached to a carbon number 1 and at carbon number 2 so we get this one two product and we get one four product that is bromine gate attached at carbon number 1 and bromine gate attached uh, hydrogen gate attached carbon number 4 but um, the problem is that more stable radical as in the earlier case we have seen that carbocation more stable carbocation it forms and less stable alkene so same thing happens over here that more stable radical it gives less substituted uh, double bond which is less stable alkene which is less stable alkene so that is one two product and we get a one four product which forms uh, due to an less stable radical but alkene whatever we get it is an more stable and this product it is called kinetic product as it it can be formed at lower temperatures and thermodynamic means it requires an heat energy of activation will be high so that is why we get an one four product which is more stable now uh, the thing is that which is the major product form predominantly it is either one two or one four in case of an this uh, radical reaction to one conjugated dienes stability of free radicals first thing is now stability of free radical as we have seen now uh, earlier that stability of an carbocation now stability of an free radicals the addition of a proton occurs as per the anti markovnikov rule the stable carbon free radical will be formed at more substituted carbon and carbon atom and uh, form one two product because this as we have seen in case of an mechanism that secondary carbocations they are secondary uh, sorry secondary free radicals they are more stable compared to an primary so we get a kinetic product that is one two product and uh, as per the stability of free radical we should get one two product now rate of reaction uh, the same is the thing again the energy of activation for the formation of an one two product is lower and hence form faster however equilibrium is less favored for it but for one four product require a high energy of activation but equilibrium is favored because it forms a more stable alkene so when the energy of activation is high we will get uh, one four kind of an product when energy of activation is less we will get one two kind of an product uh, and for energy of activation we require an heat and when the reaction temperature it is again similar like Uh, if we uh, carry out the reaction at low temperatures we will get a kinetic product and if we carry the reaction temperature at high uh, temperatures then we will get a one four product which is more stable alkene but less stable radical and excess of reagents when it is been utilized we will get one four kind of an product again same is the thing that we get one four kind of an product if the reagent conditions are milder so these are the four parameters on which uh, whether it will be 1 2 or 1 4 that will predominate thank you for watching the video if you are having any doubts you can comment me in the comment section i will definitely answer it